Hey, what's up guys? So you know it's best here with a very anticipated unboxing of the Sony PS Vita or the PlayStation Vita. Now this is the first edition bundle here. So for people in the United States, you probably wonder why I got it early. It's because they sold this version for a little bit more, but you got it a week early before everybody else, so I couldn't resist it. But anyway, some of the specs of this uh, PS Vita does have a quad-core ARM Cortex A9 processor inside of it. It's going to bring, uh, bring in a lot of power there, and also 512 megabytes of RAM. No internal storage, uh, which is a problem, but I'll cover that in my review. But um, anyway, I'm going to get straight into this unboxing of the Vita. And we're gonna get this tape off of here and dive on in. And so this has been out in other countries, of course, for a little while now. So it's just now making its way to the United States. And let's see what we got here. So I'm assuming the Vita is inside of there. So this, this is the uh, first edition bundle. You do get some other things just besides, you know, being one of the first ones to get in the United States. Uh, you get some other things. What is this? Uh, AR play card. So it does have augmented reality because the uh, Vita does have cameras on the front and the back. Pause. All right, one thing I forgot to mention in this video was the other thing inside of that little packet, there was a little AT&T welcome thing because this is the Wi-Fi plus 3G version of the PS Vita so I can connect to AT&T's 3G network. So I forgot to mention that this was 3G. All right, back to the unboxing. And also, we get this four gigabyte um, memory card here for the Vita, which is you can, can't get use any other memory card with the Vita. You have to use these special ones for it. And it also comes with the game Little Deviants. Here's a game right here. So... This is another game that I have. And it comes with this nice carrying case because you don't want to. And that's it. This is the box right here. I didn't show you that. But nothing else special inside of the box. That does come with this carrying case, which you don't want to scratch up this beautiful screen that's going to be on the Vita. All right. So you can put some memory cards and some games inside of there, I'm assuming. A little pouch there. Nice, solid carrying case. Now let's get to the start of the show without further ado. All righty. Did I get all the tape? I'm trying to pull it out the wrong way. That's what she. All right, so let's get to this right here. If I can open this up. All right, let's see what we got here. All right, got some instruction manuals. We don't need that. We got all the cables here. Um, looks like that may be the charging sink cable, the USB cable for that. And also, looks like, what is this? I guess you need to connect this to that, and this is what you'll actually be able to, to plug inside the wall, and then the other cable you'll plug from the PS Vita into this little box right there. And now let's go ahead and get to the star of the show. I think I said that before, but this is the real star of the show, the Vita itself. Come on out. Ah, there you go. Look at that. Look at that. Very nice. Lightweight too, it's not, not really any heft to it, any heftiness to it. And so it is a beautiful screen. It's a five inch screen with a resolution of 960 by 544. And uh, it is an OLED screen. So this is one of the best looking screens out there for a portable device, especially a portable gaming device. Uh, it does have the D-pad as well, dual analog sticks and also the regular button. So it's gonna do its best to feel um, like a PlayStation, PlayStation 3 controller, anything like that. Uh, we got the power button right there, the select and start button. I believe that's the power button. I think so. I don't know, maybe not. But it's the PlayStation Home button, probably. Um, and then also with the, here at the bottom here, you'll find a headphone jack, and then also you'll find just the where, where you'll put the cord in to charge it. And at the top here, we do have a couple shoulder buttons here. Then you also have a couple compartments where you're gonna be putting in the, uh, the games and the memory cards and also other different connections there to connect this up. So I think this is the um, game card slot right there. And uh, we also do have the volume buttons at the top as well. And this is the power button right there, which I'll be pressing that in a second. Now, one thing most importantly about the back of the, uh, the PS Vita here, this is a capacitive touch, I don't wanna to say touch screen, but touch back, I guess. Um, but this is a, a touch pad, actually, I need to say. This is a touch pad on the back here. So some games will take advantage of it. Um, not all games, but some games you'll be able to actually use this with your thumbs or fingers or whatever. So that's a cool little thing. And it is steamy in here, look at that. Uh, but it looks like a pretty solid device. It has a couple of hooks there if you wanna carry it, I guess. And, um, and again, it feels very solid. I'm gonna turn this thing on. See if I have any juice in here. No, I don't. Oh, yes, I do. Turn on for me, Vita. Turn on. I, I know I turn you on, don't I? Uh, so anyway, here's the, uh, the PS Vita here. Stay tuned for more and more videos that I'm going to be covering this thing. I have a plethora, and I do mean plethora, of games here for you guys. I'm going to be showing off 
Um, so I got the Little Demons, of course, that came with this. Uncharted, which is probably going to be the most the guaranteed game that you need to get with the Vita if you are going to be getting it. And Wipeouts and uh, Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom. So I have a good amount of games to keep me busy. And, of course, with the Vita, you can download games in the store and actually play them. So just telling me I need to swipe right there. All right, guys, I'm going to cut this video right here. Leave a comment down below. But what are your thoughts about the PS Vita? Is it going to be good? Is it going to flop? Um, what are some videos that you may want to see me cover about the Vita here upcoming um, soon? Upcoming soon. Does that make sense? <laughs> but anyway, guys, I'm going to start playing with this thing. I can't wait. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will catch you later. Peace.